All right, hi everyone. Welcome back everyone to BSG Annual 2021. I am your host Leo. I'll be uh, hosting for the next run here. I'm joined by Davos and Insomnia. So they are showcasing Hollow Knight, true ending, all glitches. Uh, so guys, take it away. All right, um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is start a new file and timing starts when um, I select this file. So now. Um, so and this is actually a God Seeker save. Um, so this was something added in the Godmaster update. And this is basically like um, a challenge mode where you can access like several boss rushes and stuff. And um, you actually start with all of the upgrades, all of the charms, all of the movement abilities. Um, and you're not meant to be able to get out into the overworld. Um, but we can actually use a glitch called main menu storage to get all of these properties from a Godmaster save to a regular save. And that's what allows us to um, basically load into King's Pass, the first area of the game, with more or less full completion. And we're going to see Dove do the main menu storage now. This is a frame perfect trick. So he went into the um, options there and he turned on V-Sync just to, you know, bring him down to 60 FPS instead of several hundred. Otherwise, uh, a frame perfect trick is quite hard. Um, and he, yeah, got that with no worries. First try, actually. Yeah, it was first try, really which I wasn't impressive. expecting. Um, and so this is a true ending run. Um, there isn't actually a defined true ending according to you know like the game devs kind of thing but as a speedrun community this is kind of just referred to as true ending and it'll involve beating the radiance and to do that normally you would have to collect the three dreamers and the void heart but because of that main menu storage we did we already have the void heart because we have all of the charms um so we only need to collect those three dreamers and as you can see, Dove has one of the side effects of main menu storage, um, the God Home one, is that it gives you no clip. So you just see him dashing through these rooms, um, kind of ignoring terrain. And um, he's actually making use of the Dash Master charm um, because that lets us down dash. Otherwise, um, since we can't, we aren't affected by gravity, otherwise, we'd have no way to move downwards. And um, using another downwards ability there, the Descending Dark, which is still interrupted by acid or water, um, so he doesn't just fall out of bounds. And um, we're coming up to the first of those three Dreamers, and we normally this is guarded by a pretty full-on boss fight um, that in speedruns is quite notorious as being really really um random and hard to execute um but we're just gonna skip it because we have no clip um so you um, might have noticed that so i missed the ground there that's gonna be coming up now. um so normally uh there's some different states when you're on the ground versus the air so i had to uh go through a transition to put me back on the ground because i wanted to be on the ground there yeah and um so as we sort of mentioned like you can move down but um if you go too far down you don't really have much of a way to um recover that um you can use your wings but that only gives you like a slight boost upwards um and it's really easy to soft lock yourself and because of that um we're doing a slightly different route that uh double go into a bit in a second and yes, this is just our first streamer. We have to collect three total. Um, and the glitches, any percent run, which is done on a different patch, has a way to dupe dreamers, but we don't have that on this patch. So we will be doing um, all three unique dreamers and then, yeah, going to kill the radiance. I don't know if now you had any donations or something you wanted to go into, Leo? Yeah, sure thing. So we do have. 10 euro donation from Killer Chair saying thanks yet again to BSG for letting me do so many runs, some hosting shifts, and interview. 
and thanks for all of uh, thanks for all the love and fun times for this event. I've had a great time and I cannot wait till I get to see you all in person again. Much love to everyone involved with BSG and to all the view viewers and donators with a love heart there. And that brings us up to four thousand six hundred and one euros. We've broken that at six, uh, six, four thousand six hundred mark. Nice. And um, Dove's just warping out of um, the archives now to that dream game we placed earlier, which is basically a teleport anywhere system that just costs one essence. And a side effect of that quit out is we lost our no clip, but we didn't lose um, bench storage, which. If you remember right back to the start of the run, we sat on that bench and equipped um, the movement charms that we're using at the moment. And because of the unorthodox way we got off the bench being um, duping that save game, it never really recognized that we got off the bench. Um, so that lets us open our inventory anywhere and we can kind of abuse that because opening your inventory normally takes away control and then closing it gives you control back. But since we can open it anywhere, including when we normally wouldn't have control, we can close our inventory to gain control when we normally wouldn't be able to, and we just saw Dove use it a couple of times to get out of bounds and then use that to hit collisions from the outside and skip an arena and then just some general movement. And I don't know if you wanted to go into the route change that you've done. Yeah, so kind of um, after we were leaving Monomon is the first main uh, route divergence from the kind of world record route. Um, with the world record route, you would uh, re-get Noclip, which you can get uh, from Dream Gating in water. Um, but, oh, shoot. <laughs> um, it's a little bit more risky for soft locking because Noclip movement is inherently a little risky. And I also, it wouldn't allow me to showcase uh, as much of the bench storage stuff, so I decided to uh, not go for that and go for a slightly older route. Yeah, and um, I really must sort of emphasize just how risky that uh, no clip movement is. We didn't have any issues, but um, that is definitely more a testament to Dove's skill than it is um, to the actual ease of it. Um, and yeah, so we're coming up to our second dreamer now. And one more thing sort of that we've kind of glossed over during those vertical rooms, um, we saw him open and shut his inventory during the transition. And what that actually did um, is give us transition storage. So the game thinks our inventory is open the entire time. And a side effect of that in Hollow Knight is that the game stops checking to see whether our um, full speed is getting too high so it doesn't cap it and so that just let him fall through those rooms much faster than you'd normally be able to and just killing this one devout um, using the dev intended skip to um, skip most of this and like sitting on the trap bench and that and getting our money here um, in um, since you're not meant to have a godmaster save in the overworld and in god home there's no geo ever it doesn't the devs never thought that you might want to pick some up and so it increases your geo count but it doesn't actually despawn the geo so we can just keep picking it up we can you know have one geo on the ground pick it up a hundred times if we want which uh in conjunction with the gathering swarm charm which automatically brings geo into you lets us just easily collect um the couple of hundred geo that we need to buy this stag station coming up with um, no real effort like just as we're loading into Hera. Um, very kind of you to dunk there to give me a little extra yeah. time to explain that. Um, and I was also checking my geo during um, that cutscene. And... Um, just kind of a convenient thing with the uh, bench storage. Yeah, yeah. Um... So all of these places that you wouldn't normally be able to open your inventory, you can um, just because of that bench storage. And uh, for the person in chat saying this seems very busted, you would be absolutely correct. Um, when we found main menu storage on the older patch that didn't have God Home, we were like, this is it. This is the most broken glitch um, in all of Hollow Knight. And then like six months, eight months later or something, someone got it to work on current patch with Godmaster 
and it was just this whole new world because walking is inherently just horrible and slow so having dash and super dash from the start is just you know a lifesaver and yeah, placing and a second dream gate here um, you go um believe it or not this is actually the less broken version of main menu storage uh there's even more stuff that you can do on patch 1.0.2.8 Yeah, um, sort of, I mentioned it briefly earlier, but there's Dreamer Duping, which is just incredible because it uh, lets you get to that one Dreamer and then collect that Dreamer two more times and then you can um, also use it to perform something known as Room Dupes, where you overlay two rooms on top of each other and it lets you do them um, for non-connected rooms, which is just incredible because it lets you do things such as killing the thk with crystal peak spikes by um overlaying them on the boss room that's one um, of my favorite glitches like so in all of hollow knight yeah yeah so the any percent speed run is actually under 10 minutes it is a 935 936 something like that by Inoki. so um yeah it's amazing how much, how broken this game can be um and it's really interesting um sort of the glitched runs don't get as much attention but uh they're more than deserving and dove just trying to do a um little out of bounds here using that vengeful spirit um, which is the fireball cast um to stall out the um, just to stop himself from falling too far sorry um so he can get out of bounds and then get above the transition um, but right. it is quite tricky so might see a couple more attempts at it here um, and the reason we're doing this is it lets us skip the Gruz mother mini go. boss fight got it and um there we go yeah so now he's just going over the top of the level there um briefly stopping his super dash to make sure he goes over that middle transition just otherwise you um do hit that and then you uh you know you're back uh, in bounds after that which destroys the point without of swearing going out of bounds. That it's not good <laughs> <laughs> yeah um and then just yeah using our super dash to get through here um nmg speedruns normally don't have super dash so blue lake just becomes this really repetitive dash jump dash jump so it's very comfy to be able to just super dash through all of that and then we're going to see another out of bounds here. Yeah, I have to um, gather a little track. soul because I used a lot of fireballs uh, earlier. But there we go. Yeah, and then uh, this just lets us skip going around in this room. It saves on the order of about seven seconds, I think. So um, not huge, but um, this category has gotten quite optimized and um, it's just another cool use of that uh, bench storage that we we're talking about. And coming up now is our third Dreamer, and this is gated by, in NMG, one of the harder boss fights, um, easily the hardest part of any percent, the Watcher Knights. And if anyone in chat's played Hollow Knight casually, I'm sure they'll have similar experiences um, with Watcher Knights being just an absolute nice, nice, nice. pain. But uh, we don't like fighting bosses, so we're going to just skip it um, using elevators because team cherry just i think they've tried fixing elevators about seven times and they've broken them in a different way every single time um so we're going to get something called elevator storage and basically we get onto the elevator and then hit spikes and so the game never recognizes us as having gone off of the elevator and what this means is um when we hit the lever to send the elevator up it's going to still push us up as if we were on the elevator and just due to physics being janky um, we can actually use that to push us through walls and ceilings um, so we'll see that just in a second unfortunately yeah, in one of team cherry's attempts to patch this they made the uh, little side hitbox that you can stand on a lot smaller so just taking a couple of attempts here but uh finally got it we'll see shortly yeah just how impactful it is um so to the right there was the watch knight's boss room and we're above it and 
easy as that. So that really hard boss fight, just skip it. You know, if you're having problems, just embrace glitches. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, yeah, we're going to be getting Lurian now. Um, this is not on 1.5. This is done on patch 1.4.3.2. Yep. Um, Team Cherry, in the latest version of 1.5, actually may have been successful in patching elevator storage. It's only taken them, what, three years? Four three years, years four something years, like yeah. that. But, um, yeah, they finally got there. Um, <laughs> it's, it's something. Um, Team Cherry kind of notorious in the speedrunning community for having absolutely infallible code and patching practices. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it works to our advantage a lot of the time. Yeah. Um, sort of as you've seen with just how much you can do with uh, these glitches. And we're going to go back to that dream gate we'd set earlier. Well, not um, quite yet, because just first to, I um, have oh, to yeah. detour to deliver the flower to Elderbug, because that incentive was met. Right, so Elderbug is um, a NPC that gets... Well, sorry, speedrunners ignore Elderbug all of the time in our runs, and if you've ever been into a YouTube comment section, you've probably seen <laughs> Run Invalid didn't talk to Elderbug, so... We're just going to do our bit to rectify that and give him the delicate flower, which is um, a item that normally you use for a delivery quest, and you have to navigate through um, about half of the map without getting hit. The flower breaks in one hit, um, but you can just give it to Elderbug instead because Elderbug is a cool dude and he deserves flowers sometimes. Um, so yeah, we're just making our way to the crypts now. Um, and just showing off some of those really cool long C dashes and clean movement. Yeah, um, I really like moving like it's up amazing on how much. these tall rooms. It's some of my favorite movement in Hollow Knight. Yeah, um, especially with the wings. There's a lot of um, depth to it because, um, like, timing your wings because they have that little dip in them and that kind of thing. Um, it's really satisfying to get clean. And Dove's kind of given us a masterclass in that now. Um, so I was actually looking into ways to use storage out of bounds to go the other direction through that room. Um, but the geometry just doesn't really work with it that well. So I decided to go above instead. But above, I also get to show off another glitch. So I get transition storage. Then I dash and pause. And uh, I get a trick called dash storage, and that just preserves the momentum of the dash. Yeah, so that's another glitch that um, has been around since basically when the game came out. I know it's in 10.28, I don't know if it's earlier, but I assume it would be. Um, and just another goofy physics interaction, um, transition storage, inventory storage basically just your inventory in general um, and by extension like your quick map um, just break this game in half um, and that's just another example of it and so for those of you that were looking forward to a super in-depth difficult flower quest you may be in for a bit of a disappointment because we can use that transition storage um, to just Dreamgate with the flower. Um, this is something that normally you can't do, but um, by not picking up the flower until after that check to break the flower is done, then we can just teleport freely with it and make our friend happy. Like so. And um, so that was actually the, the reason why I bought that uh, map radiant. earlier. Yeah, yeah, so... Um, using interaction storage which uses quick map which um is basically like your inventory on steroids it lets you break out of so many more animations and um on 1028 in particular it's um like the cornerstone of all of the glitch speed runs and seeing us uh, the superhero knight here um <laughs> just because um 
the game is terrible at checking states and that kind of thing. But it looks cool, so we are obligated to do it. And this fight, um, the THK fight with full gear is basically a cutscene, but that's actually kind of by design because that you need to beat THK each time you want to fight the Radiance. So we're gonna cyber bully THK a bit and then we'll go into the Radiance fight, which will also be quite quick just because we have all of the upgrades. Um, you know, this is the equipment we're supposed to be doing the boss rush with, so the normal final boss is uh, kind of just a speed bump and we'll uh, see Dove make quick work of them. Um, during the self-state, self-stab phase that you just saw, um, THK only takes one damage from basically all damage sources, um, so that's why he's just doing nail swings, otherwise he'd be doing shrieks just because they do 120 damage, um, which for reference your nail does with strength about 35. And yeah, so just going into Radiance now. And do we have any last minute donations while we're doing the Radiance fight? Uh, so I'll just, uh, I'll just remind everyone that we are currently being supported by Delphine of Customs, which is a controller and uh, console business located in England. And they specialize in customizations, modifications, and repairs. And if you quote the code BSG2021-2021 on any orders up until the 25th of August, you'll get five pounds off your order. Um, as you customize your controller cable with their PowerPoint service, they'll donate five pounds to mine. Nice. Um, and yeah, Dove making quick work of the Radiance here. So in trending no major glitches, Radiance is probably the hardest boss fight in any main board game. Um, but power of glitches, we just absolutely trivialize it. Um, this phase here, um, he's just about done already. And the grounded phase, which has, you know, I think the better part of like 700 HP, uh, he was able to do just during that one announcement. And we're onto the climb now, and the he just needs to get up to Radiance and then hit her with one nail swing, and that will be time um, once um, the screen the fades to blank at the end of this yeah. little cutscene. Yep. And yeah, so that was true ending, all glitches for Hollow Knight. Um, that was a really good run, actually. vastly different to the regular true ending run. But yeah, you didn't fall out of bounds and have to do the uh, warp at all, which is yeah. really impressive. And time. Um, so yeah. Yeah, 22... And we have a um, 27 few RTA, end credit so in game time, that's pretty good. Um, that'd be what, like a sub 20, probably, right? Probably around there, yeah. Yeah, that's really impressive, especially like, say, in marathon setting. Uh, quite the run to watch. Thank you very much, uh, guys. Is there any Thank you. that you want to go out or any information? Who's looking to run this game? Uh, where can they find that? Um, yeah, so there's a, a Hollow Knight Discord that's um, linked on speedrun.com. Yeah, it's the best resource for how to learn Hollow Knight. Um, but I want to give a, a big shout out to um, BSG Marathon for having me and for ESA for uh, hosting this, uh, as well as to Mind for providing a great service. Uh, mental health is something that's affected my life in a huge way and um, to be able to give back to something to that is, is something that is really amazing for me. Yeah, and um, definitely shout outs to ESA, BSG, Mind, um, and all the good that they've managed to do. And shout outs to Doveless for putting on an amazing run. That is um, the first instance of main menu storage ever seen in a marathon setting so that is um definitely not something to be understated um and yeah if you liked what you saw the speedrun discord is absolutely the best way to get into learning the speedrun and um there's yeah sort of a category for everyone but uh yeah thank you 
Great, thank you very much, uh, Douglas, for that amazing run of uh, Hollow Knight, uh, true ending, all glitches, all glitches rather. <laughs> um, that will be it from me in hosting. I'll be handing it over to Zelda Dicted to take it over. Um, we are going to head to an intermission, um, just do a couple of ad breaks, and set up for the next run.